Hey y'all, how you doing? So I was just thinking, uh, it's probably the worst weekend to film a video. The Dayton Air Show is going on and uh, they're doing helicopter rides uh, for folks. And about every five, 10 minutes, we got a helicopter flying around the house. I'm about, uh, I wanna say in a straight line, I'm probably less than five miles away from uh, the Dayton Airport and where they're doing the air show. So <laughs> that's that. What I planned on doing today though, is uh, making a, a stand for these blue barrels. I'm gonna do some uh, water catchment off of this gutter right here. There we go, this gutter right here, which is on the corner of the house here. Um, so, figure, <clears throat> so my plan is to use some four by fours and make it three high, three barrels high, um, which comes out to about eight feet ish. Um, I haven't really figured it all out yet. Um, but like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to start this project. I'm not sure when I'm going to finish it, whether it's going to be this weekend or next weekend. But again, it's the Dayton Air Show, so we might see some jets. We're definitely going to see some helicopters. Anyway, well, I'm going to get at it and film what I can. And it's a pretty simple stand. So I'm going to have two 4x4s on each side. Um, and then the barrel in the middle laying down. And then pipes connecting each one. And then going over here to... Um, the downspout. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I've marked for my post um, two foot where the four by four is going to go, another two foot, four by four, two foot. Now we've got a short piece. I don't know whether this is going to be the top or the bottom. Um, I have some concrete piers um, that I may set these on and then put it or just put this on the ground but I think I'm going to use the concrete piers um, so this is going to be the bottom that's going to be the top and I'm thinking about maybe putting a roof over the barrel so and then I'm going to put a four or, or two foot piece in between each post and then uh, probably a six by six down the side connect the two, or the two sides, the front and the back. So here we go. Thank you. 
today. Keep missing them, they're too fast. Thank you. 
girls. Hey y'all, welcome back to day two <laughs> of the blue barrels. So I've uh, got this set up and um, got everything dry fitted. I came to find out that the bung on the barrels has one, one bung has a different thread, has a more coarse thread and another bung has uh, your standard pipe thread. Uh, I'm not sure what the coarse thread is, but I'm going to try to glue um, <clears throat> the male slip fitting in there just so I can continue. Um, hopefully that'll work. Like I said, I got everything dry fitted at the moment. Um, I've been finding it difficult to film as I'm doing this because it, it I'm, I'm just making this up as a go so when I get it all put together we'll go through it again all right thanks we'll see you in a bit hey y'all I'm back third time's a charm I found the part I'm looking for Now I have these two things together. So that's a male adapter, and this is a male to female adapter. This thread is called buttress. I've had three different buttress threads that do not fit these barrels back here. Third time's a charm. This one works, or at least it fits. Um, so that's male thread to female thread to male adapter to slip. Um, <laughs> Hopefully this is going to work out. It's only been a week. So thank thank goodness for the internet because I looked all over town for it. Um and it does not exist in the city of Dayton. So uh let's get to this and see what we got next, all right? All right. Let's see what we got here.
cheap. I didn't put a union in the middle of it. So once I put this together, I can't take it apart. Um, unless I cut it here and cut it here and then, then I can spin those out. Um, but normally there would be a union here and in, in this one down here as well. Um, so that it would break apart and you could dismantle this. I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Um, if, if in the future I got to take this apart, I'll just add a union later. Um, let's get this one glued up. get it over to the downspout and we'll be gathering water hopefully tonight. Hopefully tonight. down here. Uh-oh, looks like I got a leak. It's probably the threads. Well, anyway, we got seven nineties in this whole setup. Two male adapters. And two of that other adapter. And the regular uh, little brass fitting for a spigot. And that's about it. 
Uh, the whole setup cost me about 200 bucks. Um, not too bad. Not too bad. Well, looks like I got one leak. And that's right here. Can you see that? And it's the fitting. It's coming in from the thread there. So. Hey, at least I can get 100 gallons of water, right? Anyway. We'll get that fixed. It won't be a problem. But that appears to be the only place it's leaking now. Which is good. So there's the water system, water catchment system. Uh, it's not perfect at the moment, but we'll get we'll get on this little leak here. Um, we might even throw some plumber's putty on it or something and see what happens. Uh, if not, we'll just take it apart and fix it, and it'll be done. And we'll have a uh, 155 gallons of Actually, this is not right. Be 160 gallons. We'll have 160 gallons of water that we'll be able to use on the garden and, and the chickens. Um, but I'm happy with it. I mean, it, it's more than we had before. It only cost me about 200 bucks, um, plus whatever else I got to add to it. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'll put a link to the fitting that goes to this blue barrel. Um, that I had such a hard time finding down in the description in case anybody else <laughs> wants to do this and is looking for that fitting because that was difficult to find. Um, luckily Amazon had it and I went through three different ones so like I said I'll put that in the description. Um, we'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all be good.